Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 23 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. I'm going to read it over. As I read it over, I want you to visualize this word problem. It's a number sense word problem. Alright, so let's start. Let's begin. Peter works 38 hours per week and earns $7.25 per hour. His employer gives him a raise that increases his weekly gross pay to $307.80. What is the increase in Peter's weekly gross pay? Now I want you to read it over. Take some time, pause me. Unpause me when you're ready. You know, we're talking about Peter and how much he makes. And uh, we're talking about his pay, right? That's really this big idea here. And not just his pay, but his gross pay. And it's talking about the increase in his gross pay. So we're going to be looking at what he was getting his gross pay originally with an additional uh, bonus that his, his boss gave him. So we have the original gross pay plus the bonus. And I'm going to use this to help this conversation on solving this problem. First, let's, let's focus on his initial pay. Initially, Peter was working 38 hours a week, and he was getting paid uh, $7.25 per hour. So his gross pay initially would be 38 times 7.25, right? That would get us some initial value. Now we don't know how much he, he earned extra. That's what we're trying to figure out. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to note that after he does get that bonus, whatever this is, when he, when he adds that to his initial pay, that's going to add up to $307.80. So we have pieces now coming together. The problem's getting a little clearer. I guess I got to find out what he, find out what this sum is here. And if I want to, uh, and subtract that, whatever it is, from the $307.08, and that's going to get me this bonus pay. That's going to get me the extra, the extra that he's earning. So let's start with finding out his initial gross pay. That means setting up this multiplication problem and solving it. And I want you to do this too. On a scrap sheet of paper right now, I want you to set this up, pause this video, and find out what... Uh, $7.25 times 38 is. Right, I'm going to start. 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus the 4 is 20, carry the 2. 8 times 7 is 56, plus the 2 is 58. Drop down the 0. 3 times 5 is 15. This 4 is no longer there, but I carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. And 3 times 7 is 21. We add all these up. We got a 0, a 5, a 5, a carry the 1, a 7, and a 2. Now, this value here, sometimes we probably could have done this a little earlier. See how this is 725? No one really likes to work with decimals when we do multiplication. So one thing we do is we move the decimal over two spaces to the right and make it 725. And that's okay, as long as I take my final answer here and I move, the, I move the decimal back two spaces. So what does that mean? Well, it gives me a final answer of $275.50. That was what he originally made. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to subtract it from, from what he's making now to kind of get an idea of what that extra is. So he's making $275.50. So let me just reorganize that. Now that I have these pieces of information, he's getting 270, he originally got paid 
we add some value to that and that that's going to get us our our three hundred and seven dollars and eighty cents if I want to find out what that additional uh, amount is right here all I need to do is subtract the two hundred and seventy five dollars and fifty cents and I'll find out what that bonus pay is so we'll do my subtraction I want you to set this up too work out the math as I do it or pause the video do it on your own check your work uh, this is 0, 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 minus 5 is 2. I can't do the, the zero, 0 minus 7, so I cross out the 3. There's a 2, carry it 10. 10 minus 7 is a 3. The 2's cancel out. I bring down the decimal. The extra pay that Peter gets is $32.30. Now, when I was working through this problem, what I tried to do in the beginning was I tried to pull out the information and use this model drawing just as a way to organize the information. And in doing that, by the time I'm finished with organizing information and walking myself through the pieces of the problem, I've already developed a way in which to get to the answer. And that's what you want to kind of work on develop with these number sense word problems is model drawing that helps guide you through and organize the information and then helps you guide you through the, the math operations that you're going to need to do in order to get to the difference, or in this case, uh, $32.30. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you have a great day. Take care.